Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day. My name is Matt Taylor. I'm the Chief Radiation Therapist here at the University of San Diego. I'm going to review our method for treating brain stereotactic radiosurgery cases using an open-faced mask system and a line RT. Welcome to the treatment room. We're getting ready for our stereotactic radiosurgery patient to come in, but before she does we want to of course prepare the room. We'll first place an index bar on the table. The next thing we are going to do is attach the 3 degree head adjuster to the couch. I will index the head adjuster to the most superior index placement. To secure the head adjuster to the table, I will hold down the red tab and then slide the second part of the lock into place. The locking mechanism can be interchanged to fit securely to whichever tabletop your department has. Now we will level the head plate. It moves in three different directions to correct for pitch, yaw, and roll rotations. I will go through and level all three of these adjustment mechanisms using a spirit level and a ruler. First, I will use the level to correct for roll by using the knob on the underside of the head adjuster. Next, I will correct for pitch, again by using the spirit level and the knob on the underside of the head adjuster. Finally, I'll correct for yaw by using the white hash mark on the board. I start with the hash mark on the body of the board, then I work my way up to the head plate, correcting for yaw with the knob. After checking the superior portion of the board, I move back down to the inferior and make sure everything is in alignment. Now that our head adjuster is level, we are ready to add the rest of the devices so our patient can come in. We will start with a B headrest. We can now add our custom head cushion that we created during simulation. Here at UCSD, we like to provide this table pad so that the patient will be comfortable while lying on the table. We will add the knee sponge, and finally we will put a sheet on the table. Now we're ready for the patient. first thing we want to do is adjust the knee cushion so the patient is comfortable. We can then work up to the patient's head. Since this custom cushion was made for the patient during simulation, we want to make sure that the patient is comfortable and that they feel like they are in the correct spot on the cushion. After ensuring this to be the case, we are ready to bring the patient up to ISO Center. We are now ready to start making our positioning adjustments. We use an open mask on all of our SRS patients, and we don't mark the mask here at UCSD. But instead, our shifts are provided by our planning team. They use the bridge of the nose as a starting point and provide shifts from there. Once we complete those shifts, we are ready to start using a Line RT, a real-time 3D surface tracking system that assists with patient setup and monitoring. A Line RT helps us align our patients to sub-millimeter accuracy and to verify that the patient stays in the correct position throughout the course of treatment. We will first use a line RT for applying gross corrections without the mask on the patient. As I look at a line RT, I can make any of the large movements by manually moving the patient. If you see that you need to make some gross adjustments, you might need to pull the patient's shoulders over to one side, for example, to adjust the yaw. Or you may want to ask your patient to bring her chin up or down or turn her head to correct for any other large rotational adjustments and make the finer corrections with the mechanism on the head adjuster once we put the mask on the patient. Once the mask is on, we can start making those finer adjustments. First of all, we perform all the required rotational corrections, namely the yaw, pitch, and roll, by fine-tuning their values using the knobs on the head adjuster. We then use the couch control to apply any remaining translational corrections. Now that the patient is all zeroed in with a line RT, we are going to use radiographic imaging for any final corrections. Here at UCSD, we first use KV-KV matching to correct for any gross rotational errors. It saves exposing the patient to radiation as it allows us to avoid performing repeat comb beam CT imaging. We do not actually apply any shifts based on the match we make with KV-KV, but instead we merely use this to verify there are no large rotational issues. If there were, we would be able to make those corrections by going into the treatment room and realigning our patient using a line RT. Then we would repeat the KVKV -KV imaging and match and move on from there. This set of KV images looks fine, 
The lateral direction and the AP also look very good. After this match is made, we'll go on to comb beam CT. And that will actually be our gold standard for final setup. You want to make sure that you have your physician and physicist in the room with you to verify this match. I will scroll through all the slices and switch through the different views. During the entire time you are reviewing your imaging, it is important that either you or your fellow therapist, physician, or physicist monitors the AlignRT screen to ensure the patient has not moved. Once you have a good match, you apply the corresponding shifts to the couch. The next step we need to follow is to create a new reference image for AlignRT to track. This will effectively calibrate AlignRT to the Combeam CT corrected patient position. This involves quickly pausing the monitoring and capturing a new reference surface. Once that new surface is acquired, we can immediately resume patient monitoring. All these numbers should be zero now, and we can begin patient treatment. AlignRT monitors the patient even during couch rotations and provides continuous feedback to ensure there is no unacceptable motion during radiation delivery. Our patient did an excellent job here. She is all free to go. That completes our stereotactic radiosurgery treatment using the open-faced mask system and AlignRT. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.